What's up guys, Boss here, and in today's video, we're going to be using a deck I don't think I've ever made a video on before. I don't know if I've ever made a video on a deck that had Witch in it, and if I have, it's been such a long time, because as you guys know, Witch is not a very good card, but this is the only deck in the whole meta, in my opinion, that the Witch actually works well in. And just to prove it, this deck actually finished 27th in the world last season. So to put that in perspective, I finished 48th in the world last season with Electro Giant, right? A deck that everyone knows is really good in the meta. But no, I got beat by someone using Giant Graveyard Witch. Like, are you kidding me? So that proves right there, this guy finished 27th in the world using Witch. It's not, I guess, a bad card in this deck because it serves as kind of like a spell bait. So if they like log fireball the witch then you can go in for the graveyard right and the witch is honestly kind of annoying in this deck because you have tons of like skeleton cards you got the graveyard already and the skarmy and then the witch which spawns skeletons so it kind of is just obnoxious for your opponent to deal with all those skeletons sometimes and it just synergizes well with the giant because you have the skeletons kind of distracting distracting cards maybe like mini pekka things like that like if they played on the giant to take it out you have the skeletons distracting it so it can be annoying obviously fireball to deal with mother witch you need to have fireball and graveyard decks because of mother witch how prevalent it is in the meta so before we get in the first game if you guys want to support me you can use my credit code boss in any super Soul game really appreciate all the support it does mean a lot so um season digit starts so i haven't been playing too much ladder but we are in you know almost the top 800 so we should still get some pretty solid games in so let's go and get into the first game all right, here we go, guys. We found the first game, and last thing I'll say is subscribe if you guys don't want to miss any of my content. We'd really appreciate that. So here we go. Let's go ahead and give this guy the good luck, and then we're going to wait just a little while to see if this person wants to do anything. All right, so Furnace comes down. We're just going to go ahead and go Witch in the back. If he's going to play anything next to this Furnace, we're probably just going to go ahead and Fireball it, Um, see what he wants to do. He's going to go, okay, so for a Goblin Hut, we're going to go Giant to Tank for the Witch and to take out this goblin hut which is just really annoying honestly which does go down here um and he's got a pretty interesting deck cannon cart uh yeah i don't know what this deck is he's using like a spawner deck which is obviously obnoxious we're gonna go skarmy here fire spirit doesn't take out the whole skarmy but it actually took out most of it i i'm not gonna lie i kind of underestimated the splash of the fire spirit it's pretty massive um i didn't think it was going to take out pretty much the whole thing i thought half of it was going to live but clearly i underestimated clearly underestimated that furnace so we're gonna witch here and what do we want to do what do we want to do because this furnace is going to be an issue he's going to go mother witch so this is perfect we're going to go ahead and fireball that it's not going to get too much value, only spawns a couple pigs, I can live with that. Um, and now that he doesn't have his Mother Witch, let's actually go ahead and do this. We're going to wait for that Spear Goblin to cross over, and then we're going to go for Giant, and then we're going to go Graveyard to try to take out this Goblin Hut. Hopefully we can take out a good amount of it, uh, that would be ideal. He's going to go Dark Prince though. He ends up cleaning it up, but on the plus side we do end up taking out the uh the cannon card so we don't have to deal with that which can obviously be quite a nuisance we're gonna go witch here um and things aren't looking too good but i think in double elixir we can come back we definitely got a chance at least now like we know what he's using um we just gotta try to if possible um break through and maybe pressure when he doesn't have that mother witch in cycle so that was a great inferno drag there able to take out that furnace Let's go ahead and go for a giant, and then let's go graveyard into the left lane here. Opposite lane of this goblin hut, because the goblin giant, or the goblin hut, excuse me, isn't going to pull the giant. You can see we're getting a lot of damage here. This is exactly what we're looking for. We're going to go witch, and look at this graveyard. Oh my gosh. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, one graveyard push can often win the game. That's why graveyard is really strong in some matchups. Um... Because if they don't have like a poison or like a direct answer to it in cycle, like he does of course have Mother Witch, but that's why we got Fireball for that. Um, we're going to go Inferno Drag like this, we're going to go for Skarmy here, kind of split it to make sure that he can't take out everything. And then we are going to have to go for a Witch because these, uh, the Spear Goblins were getting a little scary there, but we're fine, we ended up defending. So let's go Graveyard like this, and then we do have Fireball in rotation if he ends up going in for a Mother Witch on top of it. He does, so we're going to go ahead and fireball it. We're able to hit the tower here, 
two, and then just one more hit, and we should be able to, there we go, arrows do 135 damage, I'm pretty sure, so that's why I needed to get one more hit, and there we go, we end up getting our first win there, and you see, pretty annoying, like, I mean, I'm a little surprised I won that, honestly, because if we go look at his deck here, you can see he had, I mean, a couple spawners, right, and we don't even have, like, poison or earthquake, so that gets a lot of value, and mother witch too, but that's why fireball, as I said, highly recommend having that um, in any type of graveyard deck you use, not just this one. So there we go, top 700. Let's try to keep going here. All right, here we go. We found our second game versus Ma Maracha. Maracha. All right, so let's just chill for a second or two, um, see if our opponent wants to make the first play here. If not, if not, Giant in the back is actually a very good starting play when you have Skarmie and Cycle because if they decide to pressure the opposite lane, you have a three elixir ground counter that can pretty much take anything out if they don't have the correct spells. Healer. Oh my gosh. Is this elixir golem? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. Well, this is gonna be toxic. We're gonna go witch. And then we might have to go for like fireball arrows because that actually kills E-Drag, if you guys didn't know. So we're gonna go Fireball here, we're gonna go Arrows, and we're gonna go Skarmy. And pray that the Skarmy can take it out. It can, it can guys, and this is really good because now we're gonna have so much Elixir, and the thing with Giant Graveyard is if you get in a two tower situation, it's so good for you because you can giant in the pocket. So if we take his tower here, we're looking pretty good. If he he might have arrows though. No, he does. But but that's still so much damage. We're gonna go. That's that's quite a lot. One more good graveyard push, and we got tower for sure. And this witch is gonna be annoying because he doesn't have arrows in cycle now. He's probably gonna have to go for an E-Drag on top of it. Or he's might go healer. I'm gonna Dark Prince here, so if he does go healer, it's gonna get taken out. And then what I might even do is go Skarmy because we know that he doesn't have arrows in rotation. Now, he did play that E-Drag, but that's not going to be enough. Heal Spirit is going to help a lot, though. But look at those Skellies. Not enough DPS, and E-Drag gets taken out. So we're gonna go for an Inferno Drag here, and then we just have to go for one more Graveyard Push, and we are able going to... Or we are going to be able to take out the tower so we're going to go giant we're going to go graveyard make sure we just take the tower here there should be no way that he defends this i can even fireball the e-barbs if i have to too but we don't even need to do that tower gets taken down really easily arrows don't do enough damage to take out our left tower because as i mentioned before they do 135 damage i believe which means he is going to have to go for an elixir golem in front of this if he wants to be guaranteed to take our tower or he has to cycle two sets of arrows we're going to go for a fireball here on top of this, and then we're going to arrow to kill the E-Drag, because the E-Drag is very, very annoying. I think it's the most annoying thing for us in this matchup. So he's going to actually arrow... What is this guy doing? Why did he arrow that and not the tower? And why didn't he cycle two arrows? Four, three, two, one. Well, you know what explains it? It is Elixir Golem, and people who use Elixir Golem typically don't have a brain. So I guess that answers our question. Um, we end up winning... Um, the next game there without too much trouble i thought it was going to be a little annoying but he didn't go for any elixir golem pushes after the first one surprisingly he just i don't know i don't know what happened but i'll take it um top 500 now uh let's go into our uh, our third game all right here we go we found the next match versus beast mode so let's give him the good luck um and see if he wants to do anything I could always... Okay, we're going to go Skarmy at the bridge here. Lava. So, the, the question is, what Lava deck? Because there's a lot of Lava decks. We'll go which same lane as Lava Hound. And then... Do we want to Inferno Drag? The question is, we don't know what spells he has. I think I'm going to Inferno Drag, though. Just because... We know he's got arrows. Okay, Fireball too. So, he's got Fireball and arrows. Luckily, that most likely means he has no way of taking out the Witch... So we do have that going for us, because if he's got Fireball and Arrows, that means I was saying he couldn't, like, zap the Witch there, but the Lava Pups did take it out, so I guess it doesn't matter anyway. Um, we're gonna go Graveyard here, because 
I think we should be able to get some good damage. I'm going to cycle arrows, take out those bats, and he's going to have Skarmie too. Okay, so Skarmie and bats are going to be most likely his main counters to the graveyard. The question is, which we don't know yet, is does he have Balloon or is he actually using Clone? I'm thinking he might have Clone. Why do I think that? Because he's got bats and Skarmie. Two things that actually pair very, very well with the clone. I would find it hard to believe he has Balloon in this deck, but then again, I don't really know for sure. We're just going to have to see. So he's going to go Balloon. He, he does have it. Um, we're going to go Skarmie here, and I'm going to go for an Inferno Dragon like this. He's probably going to Fireball. I don't know for sure. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, there's the Fireball as I expected. So we're going to go Dark Prince, I think. So this way, if he goes for a Skarmie, we can take that out. I'm going to go Witch like this. And he does have the Inferno Drag. We are going to have to Fireball this. Charges, nice. I guess we can Inferno Drag here. Giant to tank. Witch. And yeah, this game, Lava's pretty annoying, I think, because, one, you don't have a lot of air counters, because you only have, um, I mean, Witch and Inferno Drag. And also, Skarmie's, like, pretty annoying, because my only answer to the Skarmie, when he uses it on the graveyard, is arrows, and... If I arrow the Skarmie, I don't have it for the bats, which is another good answer to the graveyard, and also the Lava Pups. So it's definitely a little annoying. He also went Lava First Play, which I think helped him a lot too, like with the cycle, because like Lava First Play is always what you want to do. Okay, here we go, guys. We found the next game here versus the Killer. So give him good luck. Um, let's see what he wants to do. If he's not going to do anything, I might just like witch in the back first play or actually giant in the back first play okay let's giant in the back first play let's let those hmm i'm gonna witch like this because that way we can still support the giant take that out okay he just spent six elixir i know he just got some good damage but he just spent six elixir We're actually going Graveyard here. If this Witch survives, he's going to be in trouble. It does. Oh? My goodness. My goodness. Did I not just say if the Witch survived, he was going to be in trouble? I was not lying to you guys. So yeah, that Witch took out like, you know, a good two-thirds of his tower. Or three-fourths of his tower. Excuse me. Skarmie coming in. He is going to Valk. Uh, we'll, we'll just Dark Prince, left lane, and then if he goes Drill in the right, we're just going to play Witch on top of it. We'll follow up with Arrows if he plays Wallbreakers behind it. Oh my goodness, Dark Prince. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Um, I, I don't know if that was a good thing, because now that Valk is like shredding my tower, but um, I think we're fine, because we still have that like massive amount of damage on the left lane there but i was not expecting that to happen to say the least um that dark prince was not being very smart there that's for sure we're gonna inferno dragon the left lane here we do have scar me though which is nice so actually if he ends up going in for it's actually a graveyard here he is going to go for wall breaker so we're just going to arrow this um, and then we're going to go for Skarmy on top of the drill. And it's looking like our graveyard most likely is going to put us into fireball arrow range, or at least get us pretty close. It's not 
quite going to get us there, but get us close at least. We're going to go like this. And then I guess Witch on top of that. And let's Graveyard. This should be able to... Hopefully, take out the left tower. Yes, it does. Nice. He's saying oops. He knows he messed up. Oof. Oh my goodness. Okay, both towers under 313 health. That's insane. So, insanely clutch win there. Um... I think we both got unlucky. He got unlucky at the end. I obviously got unlucky with that Dark Prince at the beginning, going in the wrong lane. That was kind of ridiculous. Um, anyway, here we go. We found the next match here. We'll give this guy the good luck um, and see what he wants to do. Okay, Lava first place. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go Giant and see what he wants to do from there. I might just wait a second. Bomber? Hmm. Bomber and Skeletons. Well, we're going to Inferno Drag. Okay, probably Lava Cycle. We're going to go Witch like this. Um, let's see if he has a reset to the Lava. Mm, I don't know if we need it. Mm, that wasn't really a good Fireball. I'm not going to deny that. I don't think we needed that Fireball. I guess it's okay, but I don't think it was necessary. Look at this Witch. Some good damage. Unfortunately, the skeletons didn't distract it and keep it alive longer, but good damage. I can't complain with that. I think we're going to go Dark Prince in the back here. And maybe Graveyard with this Dark Prince, because we do have arrows in cycle, so if he has something like minions, we will be able to take them out, which is great. So we're going to go for a Graveyard here. He is going to go for minions. We're just going to go ahead and arrow that. That is going to be tower down. Now the question, of course, is it just going to be a tower trade situation? Most likely it is, because I don't really think... Um, I'm going to be able to defend this. He probably... Let's actually go Skarmy here. What this is going to do is force arrows out of him. Yeah, that's fine. So, tower does fall, but, um, giant graveyard in the pocket is usually so much damage you get. So, I think we're in an okay situation. Um, we just have to, you know, be a little careful here. He doesn't have any, like, really ground card to take things out, except the Miner and the the Skeletons. That's kind of it. It's it's not a very defensive deck he's using. It's pretty much all offense. Um, so let's go ahead and Graveyard. Let's go for Giant. Um, and then I think we could actually get some arrows going in here to take out this Bomber. And you guys can see uh, so much damage we're getting right there. Um, I'm surprised he's not just setting up for a Lava Hound push because I was going to say, like, I don't think he can defend that. So I don't know why he didn't just go for a Lava. Mega Minion comes down in front of the Lava Hound. Um, that's pretty interesting. That's not really what you want to do when you're playing Lava Hound. You typically want to, you know, play it behind the Lava because the Lava is the tank. But he is going to do that for some reason. Uh, let's go ahead and arrow this here. Uh, tower is going to fall, and our tower is going to stay alive miraculously. So, what that is going to mean is that we should be able to just win this one here. Um, because he's going to go balloon, but it is not going to be able to get a connection. It's not even going to be able to get that damage. So, that is going to be GG. Really nice win there. Versus Lava Loom. We redeemed ourselves after losing to the first Lava Loom player. The difference was, of course, this guy literally had no ground counters. I mean, the other guy had Skarmy. So, you can see the Skarmy helping out much more so what is that going to put us at 340 second not bad so i say we go for one final game here we won two three so we won four games lost one so no matter what good record this video uh win or loss this will be the last game and uh yes yeah, you guys win i find the match all right here we go guys we found our final match versus rf timmy so Let's wait as per usual, as I've said most games, no need to rush, but because he's not doing anything, let's scar me at the bridge. Great starting play, baits a spell out of them, and then if he does something like that, we can just go Witch, right? Arrows come out, so that means Witch is going to come out on our end in the back, and then we'll see, okay, Elixir going in the back, first play of the game. 
<sighs> so we beat Elixir Golem before, can we do it again? Um, I don't know, I guess we'll find out. So we're gonna go Dark Prince here. If he goes for the E-Drag, I'm gonna arrow and fireball it immediately, or at least try to, before it gets healed up. Arrows. And fireball. We kill it. We kill the healer too! Oh my gosh, and he went for the Inferno Drag behind it. Oh my goodness. Okay, so... I don't usually BM, but if I beat this guy, I might BM, because it's Elixir Golem, and it's deserved, in my opinion. BM a little bit. I don't usually BM, but Elixir Golem is just... I don't I don't really have any respect for it. So we're going to Giant in front of this. He's so low on Elixir, so we have to pressure, right? Like, we don't have a choice. Um, we're going to go... Let's actually go Graveyard here. Let's go Skarmy to Distract. And he actually Rage Quit, so we'll give him the thanks the oops and a little bit of this action here so there we go that is going to be the end of the video easy easy three crown pretty nice game to end off of if i do say so myself um i guess this deck doesn't do that bad against elixir golem um i mean we beat it twice and it's actually the exact same elixir golem deck and uh oh this guy had a level 12 rage he was under leveled all right we'll give him the benefit of the doubt i'm sure he would have won if he had a max rage that made all the difference there so nice video there we win one two three four five games only lose one this guy um actually i'm pretty sure i have this guy added on my um supercell id uh fan of my uh i think i added him like a little while ago so that was interesting i played against him but yeah kind of shout out to him i actually had him on my supercell id but anyway that is it for the video uh top 300 really nice push there um i hope you guys enjoyed it i guess this this deck isn't that bad actually the which uh coming in clutch a lot of the games um only as i said only deck in the game that is actually good with the witch no other deck in the game has witch in it that's actually good that gets like good finishes on ladder is usually competitive this is the only one that finished 27th in the world last season as i showed you in the beginning of the video so let's go ahead and open up these rewards here um and yeah last thing i'll say is uh make sure to like if you guys enjoyed it as always uh subscribe if you aren't subscribed already um, I always like to throw this out occasionally. Over half the people who watch my videos actually aren't subbed, about 55%. So that actually means if everyone was subscribed to watch my videos, I'd already have over 100,000 subscribers, which is crazy to think. Um, so just keep that in mind. That is going to be it. Thanks again. Until next time, guys.